Hello guys and in this video we are going to be discussing about Fernando Santos and how you can make your team really good using this manager and we are starting it right now. Hi this is Agnik over here and if you are watching my channel for the first time make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification to never miss an update and let's just continue. In this video we are going step by step discussing about how you can make the best out of your team using this manager. First we are going to be discussing about the manager and his qualities. Second of all, we are going to be discussing about the players you need to make this team really good. And third of all, we are going to be jumping into some gameplay with this manager. So make sure you stick until the end because at the end, we have a pro tip for you guys so that you can really bolster your squad. So as you can see, we have uh, the details of this manager on the screen presently. And this guy has a uh, counter attack as his attacking style. He plays with short passes, his attacking area is in the middle, quite similar to many other managers. Defensive style is front line pressure, which means that his attack is the first line of his defense. Containment area wide, you really need to focus on this. Containment area wide, which means he tries to stop the opponent attackers by the help of his left back and his right back so your left back and your right back must be really strong you just need to keep that in mind then his pressing is aggressive now moving on to the player details what kind of players do you exactly need to make the best out of this manager as we just said you need really good left back and right back really good defensively left back and right back in your team personally i prefer Irwin as my left back because I feel he's the best defensive left back in the game and in the right back spot there are two contenders for this spot there is uh, Aaron Van Bissaka I feel he's the best Aaron Van Bissaka is the best if you have him use him no question second of all we have Joshua Kimmich and another probable option of this spot is Nelson Semedo these three are really defensive right backs and you should definitely try them out. Now moving on to the details of these players. As you can see, Owen is a really good defensive left back and with a good pace. The pace is really important because you want your left back and right back to chase the opponent attacker down. And in online matches, it's very common that you end up facing opponents having Aubameyang or Mbappe or Marcus Rashford in their attacking lineup. So you really need to stop them and to stop them you need good pace in your defense. So let's just look at his speed. He has 86 speed, 82 acceleration and 86 kicking power. So not the, not the worst of the speed but yeah not that good but his defensive stats are really really good 91 stamina 87 defensive awareness 85 ball winning 85 aggression you don't have any point to question moving on to the details of the right back which is Kimmich I use Kimmich because I don't have Aaron Van Bissaka you can see he has good speed with 90 acceleration and 87 speed with 97 stamina 85 defensive awareness and 88 ball winning not the best of the aggression but yeah his ball winning and defensive awareness and if you combine that with the stamina it's really awesome moving on to the center backs and the center backs are really important guys in this formation because in counter attacking management the thing that happens is the team waits for the opponent to attack and they try to contain till they find enough space to counter and for that you need good holders and players of the ball with beautiful and strong defensive capabilities and for that I personally prefer Virgil van Dijk and Matthijs Delect. if you don't have any one of them you can use PK as well you can use Ramos as well 
those are my top 4 picks for the center back position. Let's just look into the stats of Virgil van Dijk. His low pass is 85, heading 94, really good heading, 88 kicking power, 92 jump, 97 physical contact. So he is going to stick around with the opposition attacker and he's not leaving him till he gets the ball. He has 88 stamina, not the best of stamina, but okay, he will last because the defenders don't need to work that much. With 98 defensive awareness, 96 ball winning, and 91 aggression. A true beast. Moving on, I really like this guy, Matthias Delict, because there are several reasons. Reason number one, his stats are just insane. Let's just look into his stats. He has 96 heading, 99 jump, 96 physical contact, not like Van Dyke. He doesn't have a 98 physical contact, but he has 96 physical contact and by no means is that less. And if you combine that with 98 defensive awareness, 99 ball winning and 91 aggression. Oof, say less man, say less. So then moving on to the midfield and I really like this set of four in my midfield. I have Arthur, I have David Beckham, I have Neymar and I am Messi and a lot of you guys will question why Neymar is there. I personally feel in this kind of formation with this manager you really need a strong midfield you really need a baller in your midfield so that's why I use Neymar as my baller to get the ball from the back to the front because there are no wingers in this formation there is no right wing and left wing who will drop deep take the ball from the midfield and supply it to the main attacker so you really need to rely on your midfield and the midfielders should have number one good passing number two good dribbling and number three good offensive awareness if you just look into Neymar stats he has 92 offensive awareness, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling. Man, true baller. With 96 tight possession, 90 low pass, 88 lofted pass, 90 finishing, 94 set piece taking, 91 curl, 93 speed, and 95 acceleration. Moving on to David Beckham. He also has really good passing stats with 98 low pass. 99 lofted pass and 92 offensive awareness then moving on to Arthur Mello we have really good stats on him as well he has 96 low pass 96 lofted pass beautiful not the best of offensive awareness but he can really do the job now now really interesting really interesting part over here the central attacking mid whom should you play as your central attacking mid? Basically, the central attacking mid is the false nine. I consider him as the false nine. He's gonna attract the defenders towards him. Then he's gonna pass the ball to the attacker who will be sitting relatively free at the top. Or he's gonna run from behind ahead of the attackers and just boom, he's just gonna score even without getting noticed by the defenders so that's why you really need good finisher good dribbler and good pass in, in this area and i personally prefer three guys that is messi kevin de bruyne and francisco totti yeah francisco totti is a second striker but he plays better as a central attacking mid. so let's just look into messi stats as the central attacking with, with 99 offensive awareness, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 tight possession, 91 low pass, 89 lofted pass, 98 finishing. Boom, bro, boom. With 97 set piece taking, 93 curl, 90 speed, 95 acceleration. So no way is he slow. He's also good in speed. He's gonna go really fast between the defense now moving on to the two strikers i have mbappe as the speedy guy and Filippo Inzaghi as the deadly deadly finisher if you want to change the game at 
any point in the time any point in the match filippo inzaghi is the man and there are three other guys with these capabilities one is the 101 rated cristiano ronaldo second there is the fernando torres which really came out recently in the madrid iconic pack and the third is luis suarez the featured luis suarez he's really good and all the three of them feel really smooth and do comment down below whom you like to have as the deadly finisher in your squad i'm really interested to know so let's just look at filippo inzaghi stats with 99 offensive awareness 99 finishing god 99 finishing give him the ball in the penalty box and he isn't missing any time soon 99 finishing 95 heading he's really good in headers as well with decent pace of 91 speed and 93 acceleration boom he is the ideal you really need for your team moving on to the speed god kylian mbappe ooh ooh what to say about this guy this guy really reeks havoc with his speed He has 95 ball control, 90 dribbling, 95 tight possession, which means he can drop down and help in play building, along with having a good finishing to finish up the chances. Combining his pace, his deadly pace, he has 99 speed and 99 acceleration. So you really don't need to worry about anything if he has the ball at his feet and he is running at the opposition. with defenders not being able to catch him because literally no one will be able to catch him if he runs at the speed like this oh so that's it guys now we will be jumping into some gameplay with this manager So that's it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before going, the pro tip that I promised at the starting of this video is that this formation is very very ideal to manage in most, I repeat most, not all, but most of the iconic moments players. So if you're trying to build a full iconic moments squad, I don't know how you will get all the iconic moments player because these packs are trash complete trash but if you're really into making a complete iconic moment score and in, ready to spend any amount of money to get them this is exactly the formation you should prefer to build the complete iconic moment squad and really take it to the next level so that's it for today guys and until next time peace